Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. And as you can see, I've been a bit busy. These are cooking up some electrical steel for me. Uh, this is the Energized Smelter, which is now fully upgraded, as you can see. And I just have that chest there. I was using it for outputting things. Got my machine set up. This is Futuristic Armor Plating Block, which is also what's used for the ceiling. And I've been doing quite a bit. I mean, I think I don't have the ceiling in here or here done, but it's done in here. I got the floors in place. I put this here because I had just the concrete down, and it felt a bit too bland. Like, look at that. It fits in well enough without sticking out too much, which is why I chose it, because of its color and... The fact that it looks just different enough. Granted, you wouldn't want to wheel anything across these, but that'll happen. So, I moved this over here, which fought with me a bit. And this here is this is here temporarily. I'm probably going to have an ender chest there. And it's going to pull from the ender chest. Eh, fuel's doing okay. I, uh, I might have made some meat. A lot of meat. Mmm, delicious enderman. But, I want to get some things done. Particularly, the crafting pipes, which are made with the stone gear, redstone, and a logistics pipe. Because, oh, this isn't going to work, is it? Yeah, of course it isn't. Partly because I don't have any chests. Hmm. Not quite sure how that happened. Whoop. Whoop. So, we're going to need 24 wood. Plus an additional... 12. Oh, come on. So the 12 will go there. I'll manually craft these. Now, I know there is, for a fact, crafting tables in here, so I don't know why it's failing. And then I guess I'll have to request up the stone gears manually as well. So I'm making some logistics crafting tables. I'm going to put them here, actually. Just for the sake of getting it against the wall, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put in these crafting pipes. And here's where the trick comes in. I'm going to need electrical steel. I'm going to need coal powder, which I'll go get. I'm going to need redstone, copper, uh, gold nuggets. Which I should probably make some more of those. Eh, 30 gold worth, that should be plenty. And, let's see, so, I got those. Move. I'm also going to need some coal dust, or powder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the middle one up to support these. The first one is going to be copper gold nuggets, and redstone. So, oh, wait, not quite done yet. Uh, wrench. Now, on the inputs, we're going to tell it four gold nuggets. Well, I already screwed that up. Four gold nuggets. That, that, and that. Now, of course, what I'm going to need to do is clear this. Unfortunately, in order to set up the little machine itself, you need to tell it what it's crafting. So I have to craft at least one of these before this will even work. Bam. And because I'm going to need an octatic capacitor, or not an octatic, uh, well, I'll show you. Oh. So we need two of those, one of those. Oh, screwing things up again. So, this is why I needed the capacitor. Oh, that's not what goes there. Coal powder. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Uh, I'll throw these in here. I don't need most of these now. Spit that out. Give me a double layer capacitor. That is what you are outputting, my friend. 
and I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we'll grab the full one up here. Hopefully it's enough. And I should be able to go one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, no. You're not going to make one of those. I'm going to need tin, which I increased my tin supply a bit. I didn't mean to request two of you. I'm going to need the redstone block, which means I'm going to need to make more redstone blocks, unfortunately. Oh. Which means that I'm going to need to do one of these. Uh, let's just say 20. Yeah. So, now I'm also going to tell it that it needs a redstone block. Oh, forgot my tin. Uh, don't need you. Go back in there. So, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, tin. I'm pretty sure that is the recipe. Yep, yep. So, what I should be able to do now is... Put that block in there, put that tin in there, put the capacitor in there, and you are pretty much done, as are you. Uh, still cooking coal powder, but I have more than enough, at least I should. And we'll just crank these into here. Now if I am right, I should have enough materials offhand to make 16 of them. But if we look, if we search capacitor, you'll see they show up, but they have a number of zero. So if I say request 16 of these now, I'm missing gold nuggets. I shouldn't be. Eh, actually, I can see that being plausible. I can see it through it burning quite a bit. Uh, okay, let's try this again now. So, I wish to request 16 capacitors. So it does cost a little bit of logistics pipes power in order to do a crafting action. But, with any luck, it should be able to churn this out pretty quickly. As you can see, it's spitting those back out, and then it's spitting them into here. It threw what it had into here, and it's working on crafting... I made a mistake, that should resolve that. That is now spitting those out, of which it's shoving in here. And I completely forgot to fill this in. It's very important that you have the right type of metal set up for logistics stuff. And now, we are churning out capacitor banks. Everything is empty. And I now have 16 capacitor banks. Nice. Now you might be wondering, why could I possibly need this many capacitor banks? And on a shortened notice, I manually updated open computers. This is the first time I've run the elevator since uh, starting up my Minecraft. So, as you can see, it's functioning. So it was, as I thought, an issue with persistency. And because I manually updated and there was changes to how persistency is handled, it works. So... My intended goal, I don't remember, I might have, oh no, no, that was the other room that I screwed up. This one should be perfectly even, maybe it's not even, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, good, good. So number six right here, and number six right there, yep, so this should be the dead center, I'm going to build... You're already wrong. A 5 by 5 by 5 power bank here. Wait. You know, I'm going to do 5 by 5 by 5. No, no, I didn't screw it up. I'm just being retarded. But the plan is to have a 5 by 5 by 5 power bank, which, if I'm right, should hold about 480 million RF. And it'll be able to handle, I think, like 125,000 RF a tick. Which is obviously higher than anything in the game can really transfer it. 
but that's why I'll be able to hook multiple cables up. So if there's anything especially demanding, I can run at a specific cable, and it'll still get there pretty well. It'll actually get there at the max rate of the Ender I.O. conduits. The If we look at conduit, the these ones, they support 2,480R of attack. So I would need, if I was running at max tilt on, say, a really high end atomic science reactor, which is eventually my plan, although I don't believe I have the stuff required for that. Partly because, in order to make motors, you need a metric ton of comparators and you know, steel comparators take nether quartz and normal stone. However, I'll be able to get logistics pipes crafting set up for that. Now the reason why I'm using logistics pipes at the moment, I'm going to use it for some operations later on, say there's something I need when I'm out in the world. Not sure what that could necessarily be, but I'll be able to get it via requesting here, because ME crafting will not show up through here, but the logistics pipe stuff will. And I like how that, because of what, uh, because I used this as part of it. I'm going to put this here as a reference to how far I need to go. So, as you can see, this already holds 85 million RF. Granted, we don't have that much in it, but... What I plan to do is the entire bottom floor is likely going to be an atomic science reactor with probably, like, a coal engine or something. As you can see, I have nothing dug out here. Probably like a coal engine or something in case of catastrophic failure and I need to restart it. Because if set up right, it will infinitely maintain itself. But if for some reason that infinite maintaining fails, I need a kickstart option. So that's basically why I'm going to have sort of a coal powered engine down there. I'm not sure I like this coming out like this, but eh, it's alright. So, I don't really have too much planned other than that. I think what I do want to do, I actually marked it with a blood lamp. Uh, I built this, I, you know, filled it all out, and then I realized this room is not going to suffice for my needs in the future. How else can I branch out? Because it's also kind of small, and I don't want to tear down that room. And so I did some checking. And I determined that this is the middle point for another path that I can send that way. And because I never actually built off this way, I could theoretically branch out this way as well through, like, this wall. Like, straight off from this. I haven't done another f any other fishy stuff since. Uh, I haven't really been fighting with it. This is kind of stuck here at the moment. I've just put a little bit more in these. I've been keeping it filled up in redstone as well redstone. It's pretty cheap. And I move these in here and put them off to the side. Not sure I like where they're at, but but, check this out. See how, the, how that, when it's in my hand, I can see through there? That is conduit facades. Which I have the power running through, because I wanted to leave the bottom open. All of these machines are receiving their power from the back, because I want to be able to run anything I need into the bottom, and I'm probably going to set up a Steve's factory manager across these, maybe. So I could say have, if I need to do a bunch of processing all at once, instead of doing what I have there, I could have a chest just sitting somewhere like here or something, and it could fill it in. Put it where it needs to go based on what I have set up. So that said, I also made some of these inverted lime cage lamps, which are right here. Now... Before we get too far into this, the lime alumar is made with lime dye and glowstone. Pretty simple on that one. The cathode is made from circuit plates and a redstone torch, and circuit plates are just made from smelting stone. So, they're really simple. And this is my little, like, desk. I guess you could call it, like, a security guard's desk, although they can't see anything, really. But... And, I mean, it doesn't protect the lower floors, but we're not arguing semantics here. It's my security guard's desk, because that just so happened to be what I thought looked best here with this computer, because I don't want to move it. 
And honestly, I'm surprised. There should be sounds coming from this, because uh, one of the updates to open computers, which is a previous update to what I, the one I've currently installed, added sounds. Maybe, just maybe the diamond computers don't have sound. Who knows? But, uh... Yeah. I don't really have too much to say at the moment. These are all slabs. Slabs take a lot of time. Oh, that said, I... I thought it looked a lot better. Like, when I was staring at it, I was like, it looks a little bit too solid. So, what happens if I throw some slopes here in the corners? And I actually really like how it turned out. I like the rounded feel. Now, certain rooms like this and this don't have it. They're too small to properly support it, in my opinion. So, I decided to stay away from it. Now, this room could do it, but... Eh, I figured these things in here, it would just look strange. Shut up, zombie. Uh, I haven't set up the farm to really handle any ender pearls at the moment. I did change that up for my last remaining glass pane. It doesn't really serve a purpose. If I'm too close, I'll suck up the experience anyhow. But, eh, stuff happens. So, I'll be using a mix of modular force fields and hand digging to clear out these spaces. Mostly hand. Because with this on fast, it, well, you know what? Let's go down to level 5. I'm not sure if I re should report the issue with the elevator damaging me as a bug to the mod maker. I don't really know how to describe it other than putting in a video or something. But I do know that when the elevator moves, for some odd reason, it supplies a pretty hard FPS hit. I'm not entirely sure why. But. Oh. Jump over this. Check this out. But uh, this bottom level, I'm probably not going to have it much. Uh, because of the way I'm building my base, I'm free to go down as far as I want at this point, pretty much. This thing down here is just here as sort of an access shaft to how this cable goes up. And I've always wanted to do, like, one of the, the reactor styles where... The reactor's in there, sitting there, it's creating power, and you're on, like, an elevated position, and you're able to look, you know, down at it, and you got, like, a little control panel, which, in this case, is going to be an Ender I.O. power monitor, which will allow me to track its power output, and I'm not sure what else I could put there. I'll probably do something with microblocks, or maybe I'll just leave it as that screen, but then put, like one of those keyboards there to look like it's actually a computer screen or something. Or maybe I could even put a computer to control the flow of power and liquid. I say liquid because you have to make deuterium. I completely butchered that word, I'm sure. Let's come back up here. Uh, let me just... This right here, deuterium cell. It is made from deuterium, which it won't show you here, but deuterium is made from the uh, chemical extractor. You input water, and it uses power and outputs deuterium. So, it atomic science, like, people keep on trying to balance, well, the Resident Rise mod maker, or mod pack makers, try to balance the output of big reactors in atomic science, but Big reactors, you know, it's good, fine, yeah. It's a bit complicated. Atomic science, not really that complicated. Doesn't require a real fuel source for the fusion reactor, which, at my stage of the game right here, I mean, it's not hard to set up. Let's be honest, it's not even hard to set up once you get a digital miner. It's pretty much game over at that point. You can make whatever you want, whenever you want. Although I've been intentionally making things a little bit slower. Uh, I do have some other plans for things I wish to build. But I haven't gotten around to them yet. I've thought about doing witchery. I haven't even got to witchery. I have a ton of stuff I can do. I haven't done thalmcraft. I haven't done witchery. I haven't finished up blood magic. I mean, because there's still quite a bit I can do with blood magic as well. That I haven't even touched on. I haven't even touched the spell system. Like, these are just sigils. These aren't even spells. So, it's more of a discussion for plans of the future, because a lot of what I'm going to be doing is... Well, first of all, 
trying to get some Certus Quartz. As you can see, I was getting aluminum. But, oh, Cert. Certus Quartz. Because I need to make uh, more and more and more. At roughly 8 electrical steel per capacitor, I need 820 some odd steel. Uh, sorry, I need a thousand electrical steel because I need 125 capacitors. Capacitors. Granted, I've got 17 already, plus the other nine. So technically, I've got 26. No, that's yeah, 26. So I've got 26 capacitors already, which means I only need a hundred. No, I need 99 more. So that's almost 800 electrical steel. Now, every electrical steel takes coal and silicon, which unfortunately means that I need 800 Sordis Quartz dust or to get silicon through other means. And that much silicon? No way. I'm going to be getting all of it from Sordis Quartz. End of story. In fact, there's a high likelihood that I'm going to do stuff like this, where I bust it down and turn it into exactly what I'm using, which I should probably put a chest on there. Oops. I got a bunch of iron chests and stuff when I was in the uh, bottom of the castle thing. Chocolate quest. Good. Good. It is auto-ejecting. So, I mean, I'm going to have to go through a lot of searching in order to actually get all of the Surtis Quartz and stuff for this. But I want to get the full power thing down there set up before I move on to the reactor. What I am going to do is probably get the auto crafting for the reactor. Once I get these done, that's it. I'm clearing them. I don't need them anymore. And I'll get the reactor stuff set up. The biggest thing with the reactor is a lot of these, I mean, you straight craft them. That's pretty much it. They're done. So I'll have to craft them once. I'll get all the things out of the way. But these, right here, the electromagnets, the motors, and the redstone comparators, I do not want to manually craft those. Those are three things that I can run through the auto crafting and not have to deal with. Motors are also used in quite a few of these. So, yeah. That said, I should really be getting manganese. Although, I don't have a good setup to support that at the moment. Because I'm using this. And I'd have to run it through probably an enrichment chamber. I'm going to assume that nope, nope, nope. if I look at manganese I'm going to assume that I cannot run this through a purification chamber no I cannot not that it matters because I don't have any oxygen hooked up to it but wait wait did I see 48 and it takes what 16 to make a dust question is, how much do I trust this? Okay, guys. I believe I have a little bit of manganese in my system over here. Ooh, good, dude. Uh, uh, oh, good, I do, rather. I English well. This could very well crash me. Uh, I, I, I haven't crashed yet. Okay. Go. If you're wondering what the book slot is for, that's actually for the... Well, that burnt through a ton of power. It takes 10,000 RF for each one of these, so I just spent 210,000 RF there. Yeah. That is a very good way to kill your power system. Yeah, it actually took a chunk off of that that it's working to fill back in. Partly from this guy. So... I'm probably going to triple my manganese simply because I find it to be safer that way. But I really need to get some more speed upgrades because, as you can see, I maxed that one out. But I haven't done it to this, which I really should. So it is going to take a long time to get this going. I need what, like... Uh, well, more like 13 stacks of Certus Quartz dust, or 13 stacks of silicon, 
So then I'm also going to need 13 stacks of iron and coal. Now, I should have enough coal. Uh, yeah, I have over a thousand coal, so that's good there. Although I need coal dust as well. But I need half as much coal dust as I do that. And I've already cooked up over... I cooked up like 300 coal dust, I think. You know what? Let's, let's just look. I have 224 coal dust in this system. It takes four per capacitor, so yeah, I need about 400. So I probably want to get some more coal. Uh, I said what? 200? No, screw it. Let's just let's just request that. Let's just request that. And this is gonna go about this very, very slowly. You know, I actually don't need one of these. So let's cut down on burning through this. How much coal did that leave me with? Over a thousand. Okay. So, in between episodes, I'm going to be getting this completely cooked up. I'll probably clear out space down where the actor's supposed to be. And that's probably where we're going to start next time, is the reactor. Uh... As of seeing this video, I've got still like a week's worth of videos uploaded. So by the time you see this, me having this all done shouldn't be an issue even when playing ESO. But hey, what are you going to do? Part of the reason I recorded so much was to make sure that I wouldn't leave you without videos while I was playing that game. But uh, I'm going to call this good here. I don't know how long it's been. It could be short, it could be long. I've rambled on quite a bit, I rambled on quite fast. But I did get some meaningful things done for the future. Uh, this auto-crafting is going to be very helpful. And uh, hopefully you like the idea of this. Oh, one more thing before I stop. Let's just shoot up there. I changed the floor out for wood. And there was a suggestion. It was a while ago. This, uh, It was roughly two or three days ago for me as of recording this. So that should give the person an idea of how many videos I've recorded. Uh, they said, I think, moss, st moss stone bricks. But I've been trying to avoid using stone bricks. Because stone bricks, they're in vanilla. Everybody uses the hell out of them. And I didn't want to. So instead I went for more of this setup here. And I kept the willow doors because I tried regular wood and it was just... Eh. But... I like this. It looks good. It's not too overbearing like the willow wood. Where'd that log go? Huh. Oh. Right. So, I'll throw on some music, and we'll use this to exit out. So, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.